Hi there guys, this is Ross at foodtravelmusiclove.com. Inspiration from the heart. This is one of our TripAdvisor reviews. This is at the Grass Service Suites Condominium in Pattaya, Thailand. Some of you may have already seen our informal video on this place a couple of years ago. This is now kind of a full breakdown over a few minutes with some of the um, more specifics on the details of the rooms, the facilities, the outside area. Let's get going. As you can see, the rooms are really, really nice and modern, tastefully decorated, and it's kind of an apart hotel style. Over here, it's called a condominium, condo. It's kind of what we'd have in Europe as like an apart hotel. So you've got like basic kitchen facilities. The Wi-Fi is really, really good. That's a big plus point for me. That's why I stay here. The TV's got some sports channels. It's got either B in sports, or True Sports. It used to have True Sport, which is all the Premier League games. It now seems to have changed to Being Sports, which gives you your Champions League and your FA Cup games. This is for UK viewers, obviously. Otherwise, Being Sports does show a lot of your Australian and American games all live, all with English commentary as well, which is good. A couple of movie channels, BBC News. The rest of them are kind of um, either, I think, German or, oddly enough, Thai channels. But, you know, that's just a TV option if you want to use the TV. You do get use of a free safe in the room as well. Some places charge you for a safe, but it's free here. So pop your code in, press the little button, everything's kept in there safely. It's a very, very safe place as far as I'm concerned. The number of years I've been coming to Thailand, incredibly safe. I leave cash out on the side all the time when the cleaners come in and out. Occasionally I give it a little check when I get back. Just human nature to do that. Never one bar taken, never one bar taken. In fact, if you leave a little bit out as a tip for them, they all won't even take that, they don't even assume it's for them. You do get two bottles of water given to you free in the rooms here as well. The cleaners will come in and do that and leave you two bottles of water daily, no matter how long you're staying for, two bottles of water. It's very cheap to go and buy water out and about as well, but that's a nice little touch by them. And the cleaners, I was mentioning there, are fantastic. They come in, they do all your washing up. I feel terrible sometimes if I'm sat in the room and they're doing it. Um, so I do like to give them 20 baht if they're doing that, if I haven't got any washing up liquid in or something. But they do all your washing up, they give you toilet rolls, they clean your bed, do all the cleaning, exceptionally clean hotel this right throughout. Cleaners, maintenance staff, they're always out and about. Anything you need done in the room as well, any problems, press zero on your phone, they'll send someone up straight away. Room service is available as well between six o'clock and two o'clock. Uh, six in the morning and two in the afternoon. I guess they don't do dinner, maybe because there's so much food out and about anyway in the evenings, there's probably not much call for it. But I have had the room service here before. It was really, really nice. I had a Tom Yum and um, I think it was like a chicken rice. Quite a couple of basic things, fairly priced for a hotel, really, really nice. I believe the breakfast is about 150 baht. I try and live to UK time, so I'm very seldom up at the time where I could actually have a hotel breakfast, but the breakfast is supposed to be 150 baht, I believe, and I've heard good reports on that. And either way, 150 baht is just under four pounds. You can't really go wrong for just under four pounds, British pounds. As you can see as well, there is plenty of storage space in the kitchen, in the living area, in the bedroom, lots of cupboards, lots of storage, lots of shelving. That's quite boring to some people, but I know a lot of you will want that information. I certainly needed it before I came here and I found out when I got here. So hopefully now I'm passing that on. Uh, I bring lots and lots of stuff with me because of my work and things that I'm doing. So there's lots of cupboard space and you've got the safe. So within these TripAdvisor review videos, I would normally go on to talk about animation and entertainment, restaurants and bars, food, drinks. They're normally in three separate sections. Because of where we are, they're not really relevant. Um, there's no entertainment or uh, animation at this hotel. All the entertainment, animation, all the bars, drinks, everything you need is literally a five minute bar bus or taxi ride away. It's the entertainment capital of the world. Get out of the hotel and go and enjoy the stuff down there. Fantastic hotel for sleeping in, working in, having a little snooze, get yourself out into Pattaya. If you do get yourselves out and about down in Pattaya and you're not aware of the area, um, I mean, it literally is the entertainment capital of the world. Uh, you've got literally thousands of bars, restaurants, you've got bands on, quizzes, karaoke, you've got strip clubs, solo singers, all sorts of things going on, absolutely everything. There's probably magicians, juggling acts, who knows? You can find anything out and about out there. Um, there's people have uh, been asking on local Facebook groups, you know, where's the best rock band, jazz band, reggae bands? I think you can literally ask for anything and find anything in this place. That's what I've found out. 
looking at the hotel facilities in general, I touched on a couple of these in the informal video we did a couple of years ago, which was part of another project we were doing. The laundrette is quite handy on site, something I've not really had to consider using, particularly in other hotels, but it's such a hot country for obvious reasons. You need a good light, uh, turnover of clothing. A 24 hour service, normally a 24 hour turnaround at the laundrette, which I think is pretty good. And it's about 70 baht per kilo. So for a big carrier bag full of washing that I stick all in there, it costs about 140 baht, about three pounds, give or take. That's pretty good as far as I'm concerned, a 24 hour service. The, the smell on the clothes afterwards is lovely. People have even put on a local Facebook group, what detergent are they using? That's how good it is. <laughs> We're in potato and people are interested in the smell of the detergent. So it's good stuff. So it's nice and clean, fresh, and you need that when you're in this hot country. The on-site shop is pretty good. I've used that a few times, just really for emergencies because you have got 7-Elevens and literally just one at the back of the hotel, another one over the road from the hotel. The on-site shop is very small, but for essentials it's great. Probably about 15 or 20% more expensive than a 7-Eleven. You'd expect that with an on-site shop, but it's there if you need it. Reception staff are fantastic. They've got a good basic knowledge of English. I've touched on that earlier. Can't expect any more than that, really. Uh, so they do speak good English, and they're really, really helpful, even if there's a language barrier there. And I find it amazing when you see all the different nationalities checking in, and there are every type of nationality checking into this hotel, checking into Pattaya generally. And they all try to speak in English, despite the fact that these are Thai people here and these are people from India and Germany and Poland, all sorts of places coming over here, all using this one international language. It's great for me, it makes me feel quite proud and very lazy. There's plenty of parking on site as well and parking patrol wardens and people out there who will make sure that your car's parked properly. There's also plenty of bike parking. Sometimes they'll just keep hold of the keys or they'll move things for you just to try and manoeuvre vehicles about, get stuff in. You've got a really nice swimming pool, quite small, but a nice swimming pool down there, sauna and the gym. The gym, to be honest, hasn't had an upgrade in the six years that I've been staying here, possibly coming on to seven years now. He's had no upgrades, a couple of bits of equipment uh, really needed a bit of an upgrade and a bit of a tweak, but it's all there. It's basic facilities, lots of people use it. It is now air conned again. It wasn't air conned throughout the COVID period, which was pretty unbearable, just with windows open. That doesn't do anything. We might as well close the windows. I'm going to end this one with a few little hints and tips for you. Try and do this in each video we do for a review. For a quieter experience, I would recommend staying in the second building. So if you ask them if you can stay in the second building above the massage services, ask for a room in that building and it's normally a little bit quieter because you're away from the reception and also potentially ask for a room away from the lift because then you get away from that ding throughout the night every time somebody arrives on your floor. I've touched on the different transport services from the hotel in other videos. I will be doing a general review of Patea as well and touch on that. But just so you know, if you're staying at the grass, BART buses do often go down South Pattaya Road, so you can get a BART bus for 10 BART, which will take you pretty much, I think, straight down, certainly to Soibacow Market area, if not right down as far as um, Second Road, I believe. You can't get right down to Walking Street because it's one way. But BART buses anyway are 10 BART, or there are motorbike taxis everywhere. As soon as you walk out of the hotel, I walk down to a regular few guys right next to the 7-Eleven, just further down the road. Really nice, nice slow drivers. Uh, I don't want to be whizzed about all over the place whether I've got a helmet on or not. And they're only about 60 bar to get down into like the town. I'll say the town, you know, where all the bars and things are. And you've got main taxis sat outside the hotel as well. So a few transport options right outside the hotel or it's about a 30 minute walk. Personally in the daytime I go for the walks, but in the evening you don't want to be like turning up at bars, you know, coated in sweat. There are an abundance of eateries, food stalls, lots of different food options right outside the hotel, more so in the evening, that's when they really get going. Normally about four o'clock onwards I've noticed is when someone, because these are like the local restaurants, but mainly for the tires, everyone's using them, um, but there's a lot of uh, kind of locals that use these restaurants. Four o'clock onwards, fantastic food. I have tried it before, it's amazing. I've done a video at one that's literally next door. If you look up John TM Hot Pot, 
that seems to come up. Uh, it's because I went to John TM in the daytime and I had a Thai hot pot in the hotel next door. So check out my channel or look up John TM hot pot and you'll see a beautiful, beautiful Thai hot pot that I had. Won't go too much into detail on it and ruin it, but it was lovely. Little tip here for any sports fans. I have touched on the fact that they do have one channel in the room, but just so you know, you can sign up to Be In Sport Connect if you just search Be In Sport Connect. I believe that was like 99 baht for a month pass. So literally £2.50. It may have been a week or a month. I'm not actually too sure, but either way, £2.50, the, the amount that I pay for Sky back at home. I wish I was here sometimes. So 99 baht, you can sign up for that. Be In Sport Connect does your Champions League, your cup games, domestic cup games. This is for UK football. Obviously, I'm not sure about the other um, countries and what games that they play. I've certainly seen on the telly Be In Sport play, like I said, uh, American and Australian games. So I'm pretty sure that plays more. However, True Sport, if you sign up for True Sport, you need a True ID. If you go on to True ID, uh, make sure you click the English bit uh, if you're English because you'll see a little tab at the top. Don't think, well, that's it, I can't get on it. It's just all the entire, there is a little tie in English tab. So press the English one, sign up for the True ID, and then you can get yourself into uh, True Sport. And it's all English commentary. They play all the English games, no matter whether it's three o'clock, what times of day it is, it doesn't matter. You might have to be up till four in the morning some days if it's an eight o'clock kickoff in the evening. But just so you know, and that's again only about 200 baht. A couple of little tips there in case you're into football and you wonder how you can watch it. Final little tip for anyone out and about if you're travelling back to the grass, don't say the grass service suites. They tend to sort of get a little bit confused. Just say the grass condo, or if you need to, the grass condo, potato tay. So the grass condo, potato tay, and then that will get them back to the <laughs> appropriate hotel. I started saying the grass service suites and it's, it's unnecessary, just grass condo, and that will make sure that it's a nice smooth ride back to where you need to go. Well, there we go. I hope that's helped you out a little bit. Our official foodtravelmusiclove.com rating is eight out of 10. That's pretty good with us. Very hard to get a nine or a 10. There's always gonna be something that makes it a little bit imperfect. That's just life. There's a couple of little bits and pieces, like I said, with the gym, a couple of little bits like that, where it could obviously be improved a little bit, but really, I would not stay anywhere else, and I've been coming here for six, seven years. I really, really like the place. Some of the biggest selling points for me here are the value for money. A lot of the hotels here are similar prices, to be fair, but this works out at UK prices of £15 a night for an aircon apartment just outside Patea. It's fantastic really really clean ridiculously clean that's really really nice they're very attentive staff nice pool and brilliant brilliant wi-fi that's really really important whether it's leisure or work you just want to chill out and watch netflix you don't want to keep stopping and starting i oh, just get frustrated you know well, i do because i'm a bit of a victim Eldrew. the only real negatives some of it the hotel can't do anything about but you do get a few rowdy guests it's patea so no matter where you stay in people are getting now they're on the drink all day they're getting drunk Mal's drunk over here, by the way. So people are just getting hammered and you do get some rowdy guests. There's certain guests from a certain country, which I'm not gonna divulge, but it's always them that seem to be making all the noise and it's quite frustrating. I'll let you work out which country you think I might be talking about. And it is about a 30 minute walk from Soy Bacow, from where most of the bars and the entertainment and things are, which is no problem whatsoever with me because I don't mind getting on the back of a bike and giving them 60 baht or in the daytime, I like having a walk anyway, but for some people that might be a downside. So that's why we try and use these things is to give a little bit of balance to where our scores come in. Eight out of 10, I really, really hope that you enjoy coming to stay at the grass. Thank you for watching guys, I hope this has helped. Please do like and subscribe, always helps us. Ross, foodtravelmusiclove.com, inspiration from the heart, thank you.